Gloria Victus throws up a new gameplay trailer, ELOA Open Beta begins. All that and more, I'm Zach Sharps, and this is Free to Play Weekly. First up in the news this week, Black Eye Games threw out a new trailer for their upcoming free to play MMO Gloria Victus. During the switch to Alpha, Black Eye has decided to implement a massive update which overhauls the existing UI and reworks various systems such as guilds, buffs, and territory control, while also adding in new NPC enemies, new locations such as an inn and a brothel, giggity, and greatly improving the performance of the game. Glory of Victus is a title I haven't been paying much attention to because I find it hard to get hype for a game that feels so far away. That said, it does look good and maybe now that it's an alpha, I'll keep more of an eye on it. What's your guys' first impressions? Leave me a comment down below. This week, Perfect World Entertainment released an all-new gameplay trailer for the upcoming Neverwinter Under Dark, which is the newest content update soon to hit the free-to-play title. Featuring an adventure written by R.A. Salvatore, the update is set to introduce a new 10-player battle, two end-game skirmishes, new gear, and a revamp of the Tarmaloon Trade Bar Store. Those of you looking forward to the content update can expect it to hit your launchers on November the 17th, and Xbox One players will have to wait until 2016. My.com's free-to-play MMORPG Skyforge got content thrown its way this week. Journey of the Divine has finally launched and with it comes a variety of new elements to the title. Those elements include invasion avatars, which are massive boss encounters that have a chance at awesome loot, divine specializations, which further progress and tune your character toward your style of play, pantheon academies that allow members to train new players and earn rewards as that player progresses, an update to the symbol system, which alters the divine atlas to make symbol navigation easier and allow players to mainly choose rewards, and the normal bug fixes that you see in every update. Haven't personally hopped into Skyforge lately, but it seems the game is getting a good bunch of updates thrown its way, and with the game's UI and combat being very controller friendly, it makes me wonder whether or not they're going to launch it on consoles anytime soon. Being that it's quite rare that I mention Perfect World International on the show, I feel that this week is a good opportunity to considering Warfront has just released. What is Warfront? Well, it's Perfect World International's 11th expansion to the free-to-play MMO and it features large-scale cross-server PvP which pits 120 players in massive scale combat, a 20 vs 20 cross-server update to Nation Wars, and a new solo instance which features 100 and eight levels of ever-changing content, making it one of the most difficult dungeons in the game. With Perfect World International being on the older side, it's time for the question of the week. Last week on the show, I asked which role do you normally play in an MMO? Most of you guys said DPS, or a hybrid of sorts, but a user by the name of Sango Productions 21 gave an interesting perspective by stating the following, me? In MMOs, I love healing. Of course, when I'm feeling like being up in people's faces, I also love to tank. I just feel that DPS is so selfish, for a lack of a better term, at least for me. DPS does everything to improve their DPS output, or in some MMOs, other DPS outputs as well, but that is somewhat rare, whereas for healing and tanking, everything you do is to better the rest of your raid and keeping other players alive. Thanks for your guys' responses, and you guys know the drill. If you want your comment possibly featured in next week's episode, make sure to leave a comment down below. This week's question is, what is the oldest MMO you still play, and why do you still play it? Is it purely for nostalgic reasons, or do you just find it better than newer releases? Personally for myself, and I always get flack for this, but I still hop into World of Warcraft when there's a new expansion, mainly because I have a ton of great memories in WoW, that's and Blizzard tends to know what lore will drag me back into the darn game. Freaking Legion. Curious what titles have kept you guys hooked even though they might be a little bit old.
Last up in the news this week, Korean developer WebZen has announced the open beta date for its newest free-to-play title, ELOA. Elite Lord of Alliance will kick off this open beta starting November the 17th. Featuring an anime-inspired theme, ELOA is an isometric hack-and-slash MMORPG with action RPG controls. With five playable classes, three combat stances for each class, PvP, dungeons, and more, ELOA is primed to be a competitor in the market of ARPG styled MMOs. This one has been on the top of my list to try out, and considering I feel my Fallout 4 addiction will fade away a bit come November the 17th, I'll certainly download it. You know what cures an addiction? A new one, of course! That's right, be sure to keep it locked on MMOBomb.com for the latest free to play news, follow our social media pages, check out our giveaways page, and pet a damn puppy because why not? As for myself, signing out until next week's free to play weekly, I'm Zach Sharps, and I'll catch you guys next time.